Welcome back. An orthopedic surgeon is now doubling as a podcast host in an effort to inspire other women to reach for their dreams. And she's bringing some of that girl power inspiration to Portland this next week by emceeing this year's virtual Rose City Summit. Joining us live with all the details is Dr. Nancy Yen Shipley. Good morning. Hi, it's so nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Okay, so first off, we want to talk about this podcast, uh, your, your podcast, The 6% Podcast. How did you get into the, the pod world and, and what made you want to start this? So as you mentioned, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. There are only 6% women in orthopedics. That number is very, very low. And I was many years ago flying through, I don't remember what city, but I was going through an airport and I saw a female commercial pilot. Uh, she was a captain and I was thinking, gosh, you know, you really don't see a lot of women pilots. I would love to just sit down with her and pick her brain. And that was sort of the seed that uh, was planted initially for the podcast, The 6% with Nancy MD. So I don't just talk to women in orthopedics. I talk to women in many different industries where there just aren't a lot of women. Airline pilots, fighter pilots, the first MLB major league coach, um, and really excited also to recently talk to Katherine Schweitzer, the first woman to complete officially the Boston Marathon. So it's just been a, a passion project and something that adds to my practice as an orthopedic surgeon here in Portland. And, and, and uh, maybe I miss this, the 6%, is that like usually the percentage of women that are in these industries? That's the number of women practicing in orthopedic surgery uh, orthopedic today. Orthopedic surgery, okay, wow. Yeah. That is a yeah. crazy low number. So wh what is your advice for women who, you know, want to enter a male-dominated industry like yours? I think it's really important to find community. Um, there are a group of women orthopedic surgeons who I've become very close with. Unfortunately, in our field, there is still to this day bias, inequity, harassment, and retaliation. Um, and of course, many of us go through our training and experiences with uh, with a, a great experiences, you know. But um, the reality in our field and just about every other field out there is that that exists. And so, I say it's really important to find your people. And it's important for not only women to have community, but also to identify our allies and our advocates, because I think it's not just a woman's job to make our field more equitable. I am a big uh, supporter of, stand, uh, excuse me, Speak Up Ortho, uh, which is a great platform that raises awareness and advocates for bystander advocacy and action when there is bias and inequity. Uh, so find your people, listen to those who prop you up, tune out those who don't. Well, very cool. I mean, talk about finding your people and finding your community. You are going to be networking with a lot of young go-getters this next week uh, at this year's Junior League Rose City Summit. So tell us a little bit about your involvement in that. When I moved to Portland a little, a little over 10 years ago, I had finally finished the years of schooling and training, and I really wanted to get back into volunteerism. So being new in town, I felt like the Junior League of Portland was a great way to not only get to know some amazing women, but also spend some time giving back to the community. We've been around since 1910, and the group promotes volunteerism. Uh, we work to develop the full potential of women, and we also try to improve our community with trained volunteers. Okay, yeah, and this year's uh, topic of the summit involves inclusive language, conversations around that. Uh, why is that important? I think that's important because words matter. Um, sometimes we take that for granted. And, you know, we words have a way of building up, they have a way of cutting down, and it's not always in the most obvious ways. And so I'm really looking forward to the training that from Winnie uh, Kiros will be sharing so that we can all better understand this. She is the founder of the Center of Equity, Center for Equity and Inclusion, and she'll be showing us how to build common language and discuss the roles that business leaders can play in advancing equity. 
And um, we've got a bunch of other really great speakers as well. Our keynote speaker, Rachel Cargill, is an activist, a speaker, and an academic. She's the author of I Don't Want Your Love and Light. And she's going to talk about the intersection of feminism and race, also another important topic. Yeah. And last but not least, Zena Martin, 30-year vet in marketing, communications, and DEI, and also a board member of the Association of Junior Leagues International. She'll be joining us as a special guest and speaking as well. Wow, some very important conversations with some very inspiring women. Dr. Nancy, thank you so much for joining us. Great to talk with you this morning, and best of luck next week. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, and individual tickets to the Rose City Summit are sold out. But if you want to learn more about the speakers, how to listen to Dr. Chipley's podcast, we've got all the info you need to know on coin.com. Okay, speaking of girl power, Thorns fans excited to return to profit.